Today I'm here at Tree Bones Resort here in Big Sur, California, an eco lodge where you can stay in tents, yurts, and even a human nest. I'm here to chat with owner John Handy and check out their sushi bar, which probably has the best view of any sushi bar I've been to. Well, Tree Bones is a eco resort on the south coast of Big Sur and we're completely 100% off the grid. Everything is generated here on site. I see these little tree huts behind me. These are yurts, and they're our lodging unit here at Tree Bones. Wow, very cool. When we came up with the concept of building something here, what we wanted to do was perch lightly on the land. You've got the experience of being in nature, right. but not being uncomfortable. You guys have a full organic garden here. Yes, right? we created the Wild Coast restaurant that would take a lot of the vegetables and things we grow in the garden, as well as locally available meats and fish, and prepare it in a really beautiful, clean, tasty format. Yeah. The salad that you eat tonight was picked <laughs> this afternoon. Wow. And I never even spent any time in a refrigerator. It was just picked directly from the garden and put onto a plate. I think I saw a little bar on the side of the hill. Is that a sushi bar? I'm, yeah. Am I tripping out or what? My wife, Corrine, and I ate sushi every week. And when we came up here, that's one of the things we missed about where we used to live is the sushi. It's been hugely successful. It's one of those unexpected things. You're in the middle of nowhere uh, out here. It's, it's, that's the beauty of being here. You know, you're yeah. way out away from any cities or towns, and then there's a sushi bar. Hey Sarah, it's such a pleasure meeting you finally. I'm here obviously to learn a little bit about tuna, I'm making a tuna recipe, but I want to get your take on tuna. All right, well something we uh, had on the menu, tuna tulips, which is crab meat, scallops, and tuna. Let's dress the plate a little bit. That looks incredible. What is that? You have to tell me. These are uh, bachelor buttons here. I'm, I'm assuming those are from the garden as well, from right? The garden, That's yeah. so awesome. Wow. So what else do you got? All right. I'll go with the tuna ceviche, personally my favorite. I definitely envy like the location where you're cooking. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the best office view I've ever had. Absolutely, no, <laughs> I totally agree. Thank you again for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. There are probably bluefin tuna swimming somewhere out in the distance behind me as they're super abundant here on the Pacific coast. So today I'm gonna be using this beautiful filet of bluefin tuna in front of me. I'm gonna cut it up into steaks, grill it off, also, I'm going to be pairing uh, with this tuna some artichokes that I got from nearby Castroville, which is actually the artichoke capital of the world. So the first thing I'm going to do with this artichoke is start to trim it down, get rid of all the leaves, and really get at the heart of this choke, which is what we really want out of this. And then from here, I'm just going to start taking out these outer leaves just with my hands. Try to get down as far as you can to this yellow bit right here. And that's what's going to expose the heart of the artichoke. And then from here, I'm just going to start trimming down the stem. You don't want any of those harsh outer leaves. So now, I'm just gonna just trim it down just a little bit further, just until I see the hair. And then from here, I'm just gonna take a regular old spoon and start taking out that hair. And what's interesting, the first time I actually did this, I started to realize maybe where the name came from is this hair. It's like, if you started to eat this hair, you'd probably choke on it. And that's basically what you're looking at. A nice hollowed out, artichoke heart, great color. This guy's all finished up and start on another one. I'm gonna cook my artichokes uh, for about 20 minutes, but keep an eye on them because you don't want these guys to overcook. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up my tuna into steaks. And I'm just gonna be cutting against the grain. It's really obvious. You can see, especially in tuna, uh, you can see the grain structure of the filet. Eight ounce steak right here. And that's good. Sometimes you're left with this little end piece. You don't know what to do with it. It's good just to throw on the grill and have a nice little bite while you, while you start cooking. So I'm gonna look at my artichokes, just give it a good glance, making sure they're not overcooking. They look pretty good. And now I'm gonna season my steaks. Just gonna lay them all out flat. Good seasoning surface. A little bit of salt on each of them. That's good right there. A little bit of pepper. And just a quick drizzle of olive oil right on the top. Blend it a little bit, flip it over. And if you put enough olive oil on there, you shouldn't have to coat it again. But I'm gonna season the other side just to make sure all that salty flavor is gonna infuse into the top of the steaks. A little more black pepper. Now I'm gonna take my artichokes out of the boiling water because I think they're ready by now. 
And I'm just gonna let these sit and let the ocean breeze cool them off. Just gonna get some parsley. Let's give it a really quick chop. My artichoke should be cooled off enough and I'm gonna quarter them up right now. Just slice it down this way, get some nice quarters. And I'm gonna put these right into this bowl. Got my parsley here, a few sprinkles of that. Now I'm gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice, give it a nice little acidity. And I'm also gonna add some of these capers that I have here. And now I'm gonna season with a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of olive oil. Give it a quick toss with a spoon. Now I'm gonna start searing off my steaks. Cook them just a few minutes on each side. They look pretty good on that side. Let's get right under them. Flip them right over. The sear is looking really good. You know, you can really just see that beautiful medium rare, rare texture of the steak. Just absolutely love how they look. All right, so I'm just gonna clear off my board because my tuna steaks are ready to go. Nice and rare. Let's set all these guys out. That beautiful uh, red color just pops right out at you with this tuna, and that's really what we're looking for. And now I'm just ready to plate. Put some of these artichokes right next to it. Now I'm gonna finish off this plate with a few nasturtiums that I got at the Tree Bones Garden. And these are edible flowers. They literally grow all over the Pacific coastline. You can just pick these straight off the hillside and eat them. So you have these beautifully rich artichokes, really nice lean tuna, and the cedar is really gonna help balance all those flavors together. And now I'm gonna dig into my plate and enjoy the view. Mm. And there it is guys, your tuna steak, artichoke salad, freshly picked nasturtium from the coastline. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. Join me next week as I travel down the coastline to Cayucos.